Sup guys and welcome back to another episode of Marvel Card Collecting and Investing with me, Gingy Man Cards. It is that time of the week already, time for Gingy Man's Marvel Card Top 10 Sales from the previous week. And my god, Marvel Cards are the talk of the town at the moment in the hobby. Exciting to see. Without further ado, let's get into this week's Top 10 Marvel Cards, baby. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get into it. In at number 10, 2014 Marvel Premiere Complete Gold Base Set of 60 cards, which are each numbered out of 25. Sold for best offer accepted, $4,000. I do actually know the buyer of these cards, and it has been paid for. Look at the colour matching on these cards. Daredevil, Hulk there. 2012 being the uh, first Marvel Premiere set. The only cards you can get better in terms of numbering for this set in particular are the ED Spectrum cards, which are numbered 1 of 1 which never pop up anywhere. Solid sell in at number 10. Number nine, another uh, set of Premier cards, this time from the 2019 set. And there's also five EPAC exclusive cards, which you can see at the bottom row there, which are very nice, Moon Knight included and Hawkeye. This sold for best offer accepted, $1,650. Again, each of these numbered out of 30. So low numbered, good characters. Bosch. In at number eight is a Vibranium card. So 2015 Upper Deck Vibranium. Again, it's pretty hot right now, Vibranium cards. Uh, many sports cards guys are coming over and they are seeing these shiny refractor looking cards, I guess you could say, uh, and buying them up. This is a Ultimate Spider-Man or Miles Morales card. So this is a Radiance, which is numbered out of 50. In a slab I've never seen in my life. But that doesn't matter. People are buying the card, not the grade or the slab. So any Miles Morales cards out there right now, which are low numbered, are getting bought up. And this is proof of it. $2,136 for that card. It at number 7 is a complete ruby set from the Marvel 75th Anniversary box, which again, which is Rittenhouse, uh, only 50 sets possible, correct? This sold for best offer accepted, $1,300. And these are stunning. Um, Rittenhouse, again, I keep saying it, massively underrated. You've got Emeralds too, which look absolutely stunning, uh, which are numbered out of 100 and they're green. Very good sale for Rittenhouse, baby. In at number six is another PMG. Uh, <laughs> it's made it to the top 10 this week. 2015 uh, Marvel Fleer Retro Deadpool PMG of a red in a PSA 8 slab. So for $2,136. I love this. Again, the color matching is a very key, important piece for many collectors and investors out there. So uh, solid sale. Deadpool 3 coming Hopefully next year or a year after, can't remember, but awesome to see. In at number five is another kind of complete set as such. So this is from the 2019 um, Flare, and this is a Flareium set and six Flareium achievement cards. And we talked about this, if you haven't managed to catch it yet, we did a Marvel Roundhouse uh, card talk with lots of Marvel card content creators, etc. Yesterday, please do check it out, my channel, Spidey Duke, Sketch Card, uh, many other content creators out there. Um, we talked about EPAC achievement cards and how important they are going to be and people learning about uh, what's important in that world. So this is a great example of that happening. Uh, in order to collect those six uh, flaring achievement cards, you would have to have, how much was it? There are six tiers of Flarium, and each tier had their achievement card limited to EPAC. So, again, <laughs> $1,000 for that, and they look insane. They look beautiful. Look at that Punisher. That is sick. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, solid sell for 2019 Flare there. In at number four, these have been popping recently. 2016 Marvel Masterpieces was on a uh, real gear shift at the moment, especially with the Battle Spectre Gems, but this one uh, caught my eye. This is a... Cyclops, uh, Gallery Silver, and it's numbered out of 25. And it's a stunning looking card. So for $1,371. That's a massive sale. Look at the back of these cards. It's absolutely stunning. Five or 25. 2016 Marvel Masterpieces is sick and getting the loving it deserves. In number three, another PMG, this time from the 2017 
Fleet Ultra Spider-Man set. So this Wolverine Blue, which is numbered out 49, sold for $2,025. Again, 2017 Fleet Ultra Spider-Man is a hot set, uh, a really a grail set right now. And will continue will t continue to become um, very well known in the Marvel card world. In at number two, an interesting sale, 1966 Don Russ, complete set of 60 cards, 66 cards. Uh, they've put Spider-Man rookies, uh, excellent condition. These are old cards. This is one of the cards that is uh, important. Next time I'll fly the kite. You got Spider-Man there, and uh, this sold for best offer accepted. $1,250, so a solid sale, lots of people uh, speculating on kind of first appearances, rookie cards, and this is kind of one of the very first sets. So an old set, people are going to get these graded, and that's already been happening. Again, grading still very, very early in Marvel cards, but people will get these graded, um, so expect that to happen fairly soon. And in at number one this week's Top 10 2020 Marvel Masterpieces Epic Purple set at 1 to 90 tier 4. Solid sale, best offer accepted, $1,000. And I love the look of these cards. Again, 2020 Marvel Masterpieces is very much Marmite uh, for many people out there. But <laughs> it's Marvel Masterpieces, it's important. That spider there right now is very, very nice. Solid sale and uh, what a week in the Marvel card land, right? If you don't already, please do like, subscribe, all that good stuff down below for more Marvel card content. I will see you very shortly. Lots more things happening later this week from myself. We're going to be opening some uh, Marvel uh, 2014 um, Marvel Universe packs, which is going to be very exciting, hopefully hunting down some big pulls. So stay tuned for that and lots more con content to come. Have a great week. Peace. Oh yeah, don't forget, share. Hashtag Marvel Cards Baby.